Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Karam McLeish and today I'm going to be stepping into the world of WePay. Now, I know what you're thinking. WePay came out way back in 2016, but over the last year they have grown tremendously and they've been visible almost everywhere. Yet, there are still many questions to be asked. What do they do? Who are they? Who is behind WePay? But today, I'm going to storm their HQ. We're going to find out just exactly what WePay does and who is behind everything. So, you're going to follow me. Come, let's go. Are you all in? No. Okay. Morning, morning, morning. Are you all in? Nope. I'm gonna find this guy. Are you all doing? No, unfortunately not. No problem. Hello? Aldwin? I'm not Aldwin, but I can take you to Aldwin. Ah, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sure, sure, let's go. <laughs> Follow me. Let's go. Found him. Ha! All good! What's going on, Brett? What's up, man? Everything nice? Yep. WePay is an online processing platform. What I mean by that is um, payments. Yeah. You know, when you try to make a payment, you know, it has to be processed somewhere. Yeah. You know, normally, you see the MasterCard, Visa card sign, and you actually, you know, try to think about it. You just know, you put your card in there, yeah. and somehow the money ends up from your account into the business's account. Yeah. That middle part is kind of hazy. Yeah. And in the Caribbean, it has been hazy. Because the only one who could have done that would have been to a bank yeah. to get my processing done. Yeah. So let's create a processor. Okay. Or a gateway to a processor. Yeah. So that's what we pay is just a gateway to processor. If I had to, you know, get my business online, you know, so I could sell to someone in Singapore. Yeah. You know, to accept credit cards. Yeah. The onboarding process at the banks and then the integration process with the existing gateway provider was a three or four month process, yeah. right? On top of the time, it actually required technical know-how. Yeah. So if I'm just a guy selling, you know, real fancy I Love Trinidad t-shirts, yeah. there's no way I'm gonna expand my business outside of Trinidad. Correct. So what we did was take all the technical know-how and requirements to do this, yeah. bundle it up into a nice little online platform yeah. that you could just hit download, boom, you now could accept credit card payments from anywhere in the world. I lived in Georgia for a minute. Uh, I graduated from a uh, university in Georgia. And um, you know, I wanted to stay. Yeah. But I came from an entrepreneurial family. I came from a family that you know, started businesses, run businesses. And we have a, a few companies back here that I felt the need to come back and, and participate in the family business. Yeah. However, while starting the business, I, I realized that you know, I could branch off on my own while staying within the whole realm of entrepreneurship and within the family but to find my own niche, which was, you know, technology. Yeah. So, you know, looking at what my family did, I'm like, I could do the same thing in Trinidad for technology. So this is why we stay here. It was, you know, kind of wanted to be home next to family yeah. and think that, you know, whatever I could do outside, I could do here. So I wanted Trinidad to be the Silicon Valley of the Caribbean. I mean, don't laugh at me, I'm gonna make it happen. No, I, <laughs> right? well, you're on the way. So I had to start here so that we could be that, you know. So one of the first things, if you look at, you know, Silicon Valley or, or Dublin or any one of these places that have a high concentration of tech companies, you, besides, you know, talent, yeah. you must be able to, when you start a company, be able to get paid. Yeah. So you could start a million tech companies in Trinidad, but if you can't get paid, you know, it's just a app on the app store that no one's gonna download. So I had to create payments if I wanted to create that ecosystem yeah. for growth in, in the tech space. So. Well, for sure. So Weep is actually in four islands right now. Okay. Uh, just got back from St. Lucia a couple of weeks ago and we just completed our launch. Yeah. Uh, we're in Guyana, uh, Dominica, and uh, soon to follow, we have four other islands that should be on uh, by May. So our goal is by the end of May yeah. to be in every Caribbean island. Okay. Right, why? Okay. They call us the PayPal of the Caribbean, right? Yeah. So, we have to be in every Caribbean island. So, I'm from South. Oh. 
Yeah, okay. I'm from Deep South. Yeah. So I'm at not Source. Shout out to Source, all else by where I am, because yeah. I live in the East. Um, I'm from South. So yeah. uh, my favorite spot is a doubles vendor on the corner of, um, uh, right before you get on the creek by where SMG lives, SMG lives right there. Yeah. Right on the corner there, he's also right on the corner there. So you gotta go and check that out. Yeah, head down south, deep south. Nice. I know you probably don't pass the lighthouse. Yes, correct. But yeah, <laughs> it might be worth the journey. Alden, thank you. I'm glad I got the chance to store the head up, the headquarters, and we gotta do this again. Okay, right? sure, man. Anytime. So, you guys have heard it from the man himself, and we're gonna check back in with Alden next month to see what the world of WePay is doing. I'm out.